Hi! Just a quick update. I know it's been a while, but I just wanted to kind of put this out there just so you know what's been going on very quickly and especially stay for the sexy pictures at the end. <laughs> Recovery has been crazy. Uh, I'm going on my fourth month very soon. I am halfway into recovery. I had a triple quadruple surgery, major surgery with total hysterectomy. And if you saw my previous posts, you know why. Stage four endometriosis, um, past history of uh, cervical cancer and PCOS and fibroids and God knows like all these other things and other complications that have come up. Um, and because of those complications, I have to go into surgery tomorrow. <laughs> Yes, and I am crazy scared because my surgeon told me that it is gonna be 10 times more painful than this very major surgery that I just had. So I just cannot imagine because it's just so hard, so hard, so hard. But I have been walking way more. I've been more mobile. I've been doing everything and anything I can to recover healthily quicker, stronger, and this is another thing that I unfortunately just have to go through so we can figure out what is going on with my body. Um, I've been bleeding from both ends uh, for about eight weeks now in this recovery and we need to get it squared away so I can recover from this and then actually recover from my full major surgery situation. Having people in my life that are showing love and care, the calls, the texts, the FaceTimes, the super generous gifts and flowers and cards that people have sent, I am so, so, so grateful and I'm going to reuse all of that. Literally, starting now, I have my bed set up that I need to for recovery um, again and I'm kind of recycling all of it. Um, my sister even made me a cute like um, stuffed animal with my name on it and stuff and like all these cute things that people have sent and I'm so grateful I'm gonna keep that with me because it has motivated me, it has helped. Um, I just got off of a phone call with one of my like greatest childhood friends and he's uh, so amazing and a lot of you are so amazing. All of you are very amazing, but especially those that have been reaching out and kind of making sure that I'm okay. Like I like to do that for other people and it just feels so good to get that love and that care in return. And it, trust me, goes such a long way. And I'm so, so, so grateful. And I'm using all of that fuel, that love, the positive vibes. My beautiful friend in Florida, Vic, like she is constantly checking in on me, Daisy, like, just to name a couple, like they are just um, constantly putting their stuff aside and checking in on me on my mental health and on my physical health. And it's just so helpful to have people like that in your corner. Of course, like my mom and Sanjay, like they're my nurses. They're always here. They can't escape me. <laughs> my mom can, but she flew back here to help both me and Sanjay out, and it's already so amazing um, to have that extra support, especially from your mom. Talking about Sanjay, man, that guy works so hard. He has his full-time day job, he has over full-time YouTube, and he's taking care of me, being a great husband, a caretaker, great dad to our fur pets, like shout out to this amazing man. I really appreciate him, especially my mom even, like coming from far, taking care of her daughter and her son-in-law, like I am really, really appreciative of them. So really like choose the right support system and uh, make sure you're complimenting each other and it's like really loving, caring people that can just heal you quicker which is what they do and i'm just so grateful for a husband like this and for my mom so and my family yeah i i just wanted to say thank you to everyone that's been thinking about me sending me messages um i know i've been kind of slow on social media just because i'm like trying this new thing just to keep my anxiety down my stress down stay because my blood pressure has been really high for several months and i'm trying to do everything that i can to keep my blood pressure down and i think it's also partly because i was like i've been bleeding out a little bit here and there and all these random things so um anyway not trying to go into detail i know please 
please, please, anyone in your life, if you have a care for them, research what they have going on, be supportive, be informative. It's not a woman's problem, it's a man's problem, it's a human problem. We all have to be supportive of each other. The more you show empathy and care, the longer it helps in the love and care and the connections that we can have with each other. And we need those connections. We're not just robots on this planet. We need that love and care. And um, whether you've ever gone through anything or not, um, I send love, my love, you know, like many of you, I'm constantly like DMing you or messaging you, being your cheerleader. It's just who I am, what I want to be. I love to help people. I love to cheer people on. And um, I would hope that we all do that for each other. And ah, wish me luck. Wish me luck. Because I feel like for this one, I need it just because of how horrible it sounds. But I'm trying to stay positive. So, um... I want to get through all of this. I have a few more months possibly. And I just want to get through it and just live life and like travel and do all these fun things and be young and uh, just happy and healthy and um, prioritizing health. 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 <laughs> and I just hope like no more issues. Like, uh, God damn it. No more issues. No more issues. Being a woman is so, so tough. And we're, we're so strong. We are so freaking strong. So to all the other women who are dealing with things there, message me, call me. Like I've informed so many people of all the research that I've done and I've become an expert in all of these things. Like I've got so many solutions that are actually working, science-based things, natural things. You know, we routine things that we've got to incorporate that really helps. And I'm so happy that I'm like finally feeling like I'm going on the uh, what's the saying, like turning the bend, going over the mountain, whatever it is. I'm actually feeling it for the first time in like over a decade. I feel like, whoa, like I can have my life back. And how do I know that I'm around the bend and over the hill <laughs> or the mountain? <laughs> crazy huge mountain it's because like things like this like look at my wild hair that's what i've been calling it my hair's been curly ever since my surgery like way more curly anyone that's ever known me in my life knows i've had super straight hair okay this is from all these different things my hormones i feel like are balancing again like i'm doing all these remedies and stuff so like my nails are growing back like these are my nails this is my hair my hair hasn't gone past this in like over four years because of all these issues now it's growing back everything is growing back my like i just everything feels better and for once for once i don't have endometriosis pain like the daily constant every second pain that i had in several places for the first time i can differentiate that no this is recovery pain and not that pain like that is huge but i want to talk more about all these different things things i've learned because i want to help so many people out there i've talked to hundreds of people in person like if not thousands like everywhere i go men and women and it's helped like it's helped other people discover things in their health journey and i want to do more of this and like make videos and like help whoever i can but um, I need time. I need, oh, I have the time now. <laughs> but <laughs> videos to come in the future. So stay close and learn so you can be a good person in someone else's life and in your own life. Self care, self love. And by the way, I tried making this video so many times, just a simple one, <laughs> and I keep crying. And I'm surprised I'm not crying today because I've been up since six in the morning, delirious, so crazy busy. I've been cooking, prepping, doing all these things. And I've just been keeping myself occupied nonstop so I don't get anxious and I don't get emotional and just go into it tomorrow strong and positive. And I'm really impressed with myself. So before I start crying, and before I get emotional, oh, okay, I'm feeling it, I'm feeling it. Thank you, thank you, love you all, and good luck to everyone, and to myself, and to the people around me, they need the luck. <laughs>